On the seventh day of custard my true love sent to me. Seven swans swimming. Evening, back again for seven swans a swimming this time. Now, this one, swans. Maybe you think we're a little bit easier than some of the others. It was in the sense that something sprang straight to mind. And there's not seven of them, just one great big one. One great big white swan being ridden by Mark Boland. Now I'm putting you this picture up and I'll tell you why. I'm just putting you this picture of this CD up because this CD has got Rider White Swan on it. So there you go. But the story behind Rider White Swan, Rider White Swan, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the story behind Rider White Swan is a little bit more interesting than just looking at that cover. Now, T-Rex were obviously, everybody knows, called Tyrannosaurus Rex to start with, and then they changed and became electric and became T-Rex. And the first T-Rex album was called T-Rex. The first single was Rider White Swan. Now, as what used to happen back in those days, in Britain, the single was very rarely on the album as well. The idea was that they'd release the single, get people to like it, think that's good, and then go out and buy the album. And if they like the album, then they'd go and buy the single as well. So they'd see, that's why singles lasted around a little bit longer than they did do. And that is a story, again, where this comes in. Now, Rider White Swan was not on the album called T-Rex, although it was the single recorded before that album, or at those album sessions. Now, when it came out, glam rock hadn't been invented yet. And the first time it was on top of the pops, which I think was in October 1970, maybe November, October or November 1970, Mark Bolan is in a pair of blue dungarees. No glam, no makeup, no stars, no sparkly boots or anything like that. A pair of dungarees and a guitar. Rider White Swan was a slow burner. It didn't creep up the charts until well into 1971, by which time, after recording the rest of the album and all that sort of stuff, he got into the sort of glammy sort of thing, um, probably because he was hanging around with David Bowie and stuff, wasn't he? And he started messing around with all the lot of makeup and the stars and the glitter. And so a lot of people say, and I'm no expert on this, so I'm ready to be corrected by people who know more about glam than me, but people say that this... Rider White Swan was the first glam rock song. And if you think about it, it sort of makes sense because I was a little bit surprised when I looked back at this because I thought to you that um, Rider White Swan had come a lot later than that. I didn't realise it came as early as 1970, 71. So there you go. Rider White Swan, T-Rex, the birth of glam rock. It's New Year's Eve. It'll probably be New Year's Day by the time you see this. So you'll probably be at a party tonight. You may well end up dancing to T-Rex, Rider White Swan. Well, there you go. Rider White Swan, seven swans are swimming, but one of them is a great big giant swan with Mark Bogan on its back. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe as it helps the channel to grow. Happy New Year. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.